All right, let's see here. What we got? Looks like it's working. But it looks like it's a little bit busy. Let's see. Anybody on here yet? Nope. Sit here and hang out for a minute, see if anybody shows up. This might be putting too much of a whooping on this uh, laptop here that I'm using. But I'll wait about uh, another minute and then I'll start going just so this will be okay for playback later. All right, so we can probably get going here. So let's see. All right, so I'm going to um, switch over to this. All right, one quick thing that I had today was, uh, I don't know if you remember on the last live stream, I was talking about uh, these flashes and the whole Christmas Eve thing, and I could only find one of these, and the one that I found would not work, and I took the batteries out, and it looked like uh, maybe it was some corrosion on one of the terminals, so I, I thought I had that off and uh, put batteries in it. It still didn't work. Of course, I was going to get ready and uh, tinker with these tonight on this live stream and see if I could get the one working. But now, if you can hear, this one's working. I didn't do anything to them either. And this one's working. So I'm assuming that the one that had the corrosion, uh, either the spring, I, I, was, I was thinking that the spring got kind of smushed down. But in the process of like picking it off with a pick and then using the eraser to try to get the corrosion off that because, you know, the batteries were left in there. And I don't know if some, I don't know. I feel like something wasn't making contact and I didn't do anything to them, but it's making contact now. So, uh, you know, if that's working, I'm not going to bother with them. So, so much for those guys. So, the next thing is something kind of fun. Not really retro. Well, I mean, now for, for kids now, maybe retro, not retro for us, our age group or older. But, um, my kid has been all about, uh, my, my oldest kid is, is, uh, is really into music and stuff and has been, we've been talking about CDs. So it's not the whole, uh, uh, vinyl thing, but CDs. So, um, I was looking around, I've got a couple of amps and I've got some speakers just from over the years, from, you know, and hoarding crap. But, uh, I was looking for like a, you know, like a regular old, you know, separate CD player. But then I remembered I'd had like a little Sony Hi-Fi, like mini system back in the mid, uh, early to mid 2000s. And I started looking for one of those. But I was also going to see if there was one that was a little bit newer that maybe had Bluetooth and stuff, which could also be handy for the kid's phone if they wanted to do that. But um, I found one and this is the one I found. Um, no speakers, um, but I've got speakers. So, and I actually got some on here on the bench that I've pre-set up. So hopefully we can uh, see if this thing works. I can plug it in. And hopefully it's not garbage because this will be the, you know, who knows? There could be a possum or a squirrel in here or something. You're, I'm opening it the first time with you all here. So we shall see what we got. Let me switch over here real quick. See? Yeah, nobody's watching. Just wanted to make sure. I need multiple screens here to uh, be able to see chat while I'm doing this. If I'm going to try to do the whole live stream thing song. But this isn't really retro and wouldn't be a project per se unless i was fixing it so but i thought some people might find this interesting anyway i'll show you some more detail about the model that this is yeah, this looks actually well packed i don't know if you, you guys if you do retro stuff you've, i've either gotten stuff that's packed really well or well we'll see in a minute here i got a box over here I, i'm worried about it but now see this is pretty nice so we got the uh remote here for the for this unit doesn't feel like it has batteries in it though and a little antenna sorry about it. this is zoomed out all the way for this camera on this bench and this thing's kind of tall let me, here. let me get this out of the way let's see what we got here that's a little smell to it <laughs> always the uh always ooh, it's sticky too well let's take it had some tape on it it looks like like packing tape or something see let's see here let's see that and that and that was on the um the ad and stuff 
I could see some tape residue. And this is a, like one of these must be like, I guess that the loop, the first black thing, that was a AM loop. And this must be just like the FM antenna that plugs into the little dilly there. So, heck, let's just plug it up and see if it works. If this blows up and burns things down, it's, it's been real fun, guys. So, and, and gals, humans, people. All right, let me get some juice here. Let me find a place to get some. I hear some relays clicking. That's probably okay, right? Let's see. Now I've got, let's see here. And the one thing I like here, and that was, this was the deal. I found some that were cheaper because I didn't want to spend a ton of money because the kid may not like it. But see, this actually has real terminals, right? And um, let me see if I can switch. I was going to show you real quick. So see this, um, let me transition here. See this guy right here? I found a bunch of these and they look pretty cool like in the um let me see here so they look neat in the uh, let me see in the front here that's a pretty cool looking little system right i mean you know really like, especially for a kid to, to have nicer than anything i had when i was a kid but i saw that they had this proprietary speaker connection and and i knew i had a couple sets of speakers so i really didn't care i was looking for something cheap or cheaper but without that, now if this was free or, or five dollars, I would, you know, probably hack up some speaker terminals onto it. That's not big a deal. But I found this one, so it's got the normal terminals. So that was one of the things I, I liked about that. And this model, if you're interested, is let's see here. I had some stuff saved here. This is what this one is. This one is the um, CBX one. So this one, that's what this is. So it's pretty cool. It's a little Sony unit that's got, uh, well, this is, yeah, yeah. But it's got, it's got a CD. Hopefully the mechanism works <laughs> after being shipped. Um, it's got a CD player, uh, Bluetooth, and then, yeah, it doesn't have an aux in or anything that I can tell. But it, it's a kind of a cool looking, it's, well, you know what? It's got a um, 3 8 or 1 8 sorry. It does actually have a auxiliary in right there and a headphone out. So it does have aux in, but it's in the front. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see if I can get these. Let's get some speakers hooked up here and see what we can hear. Is this left? All right. These are some little Dayton uh, audio bookshelf speakers that I had for some rear channels a while back. They should be just fine for this particular application. I hope. Let's see. Oh. Doing a poor job there, aren't I? And we are we still on the browser here? Or we did I switch for we are. I'm gonna get the hang of this. Alright, so yeah, I'm just uh wiring up these speakers I had on the uh I was sitting here looking at the camcorders preview. Yeah, duh. Yeah, that's not what I was showing you. <laughs> so this is the uh front of the guy. And so yeah, we've it's got audio in. This is what I was pointing to all ago that I may not have been showing, so sorry. I hear the CD player shuffling around. I hope that's not a bad thing. So I've got some CDs here, but I don't want to get a copyright strike, but I just want to do a quick test real quick before moving to the next thing. You know, it's got, it says it's, uh, let's see if I hear some static. Hey, I got static. That's good. Let me open this up. And you know what? I'm going to try this one. The CD Hopefully this CD is not uh, going to have something that might trigger as easily. It's like a live thing, but I'm sure it will. It's all scratched to pieces, too. Let's just see here. <laughs> Whoops. The dangers of having something here. All right, let's see. So I'm going to go to... How do I pick that input? CD. Okay. All right, let's see if it works. Hey, it seems like it's working. Both channels working? Seems like it is. Let's see. Next track. 
We got these top panel controls here. I'll check the uh, remote later. That's pretty cool though. Probably need to turn it. Yeah, I mean, that's, seems like it's working. This is like 26 bucks off of uh, eBay from some place in West Virginia. But uh, I better stop. So I'm going to turn that off. But again, if you didn't see the, um, it's pretty cool. I, don't, I wonder if this was in some place or with an older person, possibly with these big labels on here. Maybe. But uh, I'm going to clean it up, see if I can get some of this tape residue off of it. But I mean, it's, I mean, I, I don't know what the wattage is on it, but it should be plenty enough to uh, have play normal levels. And it's got a tuner, Bluetooth, uh, audio in, headphone jack. That would be pretty cool for the kid. So that's kind of neat. Let's see here. Yeah, nobody's still watching, so I just wanted to check real quick. Okay, so this is uh yeah so that's that that's that's exciting i'm i'm pumped to uh show that to the kid that'll be cool i'm hoping the remote works i don't want to bore you all with that so uh, i forgot to take my cd out of there whoops okay get these uh out of here i can just relocate this temporarily i will show you the next thing All righty, let's see. The next thing is, uh, you can see it over there. So that is also kind of a big box for the desk size, works, work page size here. Come right here and get this. It's awful light, too. Sure is light. But let's see what this one does. Is So this is a big box, and... The camera is zoomed out all the way. But we shall see what we got here. Ooh. Ouch. Cut my finger off. And this is just... But yeah, this is like... Uh, this box feels real loose. Like it didn't have much packing material in it. So, I don't know. I'm not having high hopes. Look at that. Uh oh, this says my battery is low. But we should be on. Okay, yeah, my AC adapter wasn't plugged in all the way. So let's see here what we've got. Well, you know, they've got some sealed air things in here, so that's not surprising. Let's see what we got. Maybe I'll make a view that it's just the ah uh, pack of peanuts. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Looky there, component cable. That was not part of the the auction, but I mean, I'll take them. Let's see what else we got in here. Well, you know what? I guess it doesn't matter if it wasn't super great because it looks like it. The device is in the original box, possibly here. But let me, I'm gonna pull this down off the workbench and see if I can just get this box out of here. Where's the uh, label in the box? We'll give away what it is. Let's see here if this is easier to see here. All right, does that show up? So yeah, so this is a clear, a clear tech 13 inch LED TV over here on the, uh, on the side over here, I've got a, a Commodore, you know, the standard old 1702 monitor and I've got the, um, that later monitor that kind of was with the 128. The number escapes me right now. You all know what it is. I've got it in the other room, but the space is kind of gotten, you know, the real estate here is, is, is tight. So I think I'm going to have in the other room where my, you know, it, entertainment system stuff is like an old like 80s desk with these mon with like the real crt monitor and i can maybe rotate out the systems and stuff but for the bench and working on stuff to save i'm gonna get like a the vase amount and have this hopefully that it works okay this has hdmi and uh, it doesn't have s video but it does have you know composite input 
but this one caught my eye because you know the um i i remember back in the 80s i don't think it was into the, maybe it was into the 90s too like those clear telephones like kids will have that transparent plastic well that, that's what this is this but this is this tv's the clear plastic and the reason is because this is from a a prison a prisoner type tv and i've got a link or i'll show you if you know techmon the youtube channel he did a whole video on all the different like clear type devices that are for prison uh, that are available to prisoners via the commissary or whatever now i think there's a whole well i don't want to get into it i guess but if you, if you some of these websites are public if you go look for like prisoner commissary stuff no no this is not a commentary on like if what people should have access to if they're incarcerated i'm not getting into all that um that's beside the point but they um like they try it's go look if you if you're interested it, um, if you just search for like clear tv commissary you'll see like it's just prices are crazy on all this clear stuff it kind of stinks i mean i mean it's bad enough to be in prison then you have to pay more i don't know for that stuff and it's kind of like i guess the folks that get on those approved lists it seems like that they got kind of like a well you know a captured audience literally so if, if if you're in that situation and you want a tv or a am fm radio or a cassette player or something you you, you can only get this kind this 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 transparent kind and on a lot of these the speakers aren't hooked up you have to use headphones but i mean this is really super super lightweight but it looks like there are wires running to the speakers on this one it, and this is really blown out isn't it and i'm knocking stuff off maybe it's better from the back side but um yeah you can see there's wires going to these speakers so i'm assuming these speakers work and i'm not gonna have to wire them up but this is like you know it's kind of neat i like that it's transparent it's kind of cool i know this is not going to be anything fancy quality wise but it does have the vase amount screw holes i hope there so it's super light though so i can make something work and it's you know a lot less real estate on the desk here so i don't know well i just want to see if this power is on real quick but yeah so yeah like i said the uh inputs we've got are what's this like vga and then you got the like a 1 8 audio pc audio i guess it goes kind of along with the vga then just normal composite here and then hey i thought this one had hdmi it does not have hdmi whoops i was looking at so many of these i must have gotten mixed up this one the price on this one kind of caught my attention so maybe that's why but the composite is the main thing that's fine all righty i'm just going to see if this powers on let's see if it powers on fingers crossed let's see here what can i use i'm going to go the other way A bunch of outlets I put installed up under the bench here. Let's see. All right. Hmm. I see standby. I don't see. I guess standby is the power. Or is that up front here? That's got a light. Ah, oh, clear tech. See that? So there it is i guess it was using a tuner so this powers up at least i don't think i've got a commodore handy to check the inputs on everything's all discombobulated from where i was trying to organize things over the holiday so that's i don't know i just thought that was neat and i thought folks might think that was neat if you didn't know about this this whole clear electronics prison thing it's it's kind of interesting to me and, and maybe it would be interesting to you too so that seems okay i'm gonna dust it off a little bit and i'll play some more with that later and let's see here so i think some of you guys that do, do the streaming maybe you've been playing around with these little guys here you know the little they, they work pretty okay for the most part 
they're like you know usually less than 20 bucks but th i had one that just died for no reason this uh this guy right here i don't really there's not a um you know it didn't really have any rhyme or reason i don't see anything blowing up on it but i lost one of those so that's i might tinker with it so i'm gonna see if i can goof around and find anything else going on with that let's see here anybody happen to let me check over in the chat nope nobody maybe you watch this later let's see so i think that covers i think that covers most of the stuff i was wanting to talk about man is my stream that far behind weird that's showing me messing with the stereo still odd okay so um I did the, uh, let's see, I thought I was going to show y'all something else. Oh yeah. So here's the other thing. Like I'm for this, I'm using a, um, a laptop, right? This is a, a T460. So it's pretty decent. It's not new by any stretch, but I was, you know, when I've been doing these streams and stuff, looking at what the resources used, but I've got some, some parts. So they're not old enough to be retro, but they're not new for just normal PC stuff. And one of the things that I've, I was thinking about building a PC out of some junk here that I've got that's in different pieces and let it be a dedicated streaming PC, possibly. If anybody, I don't even know if this is, I don't know, some of this is kind of fun. I figure I'm just sharing what I'm tinkering with and maybe other folks would like to see that. That when it's not like a full-blown video, it might be stuff that would be in a full-blown video later. But I've got this, um, well, so I've got two CPUs. And there's one reason why I may use one over the other. So I've got this, uh, one of these is an AMD uh, FX 4350. But I think this is an AM, AM3 Plus socket. And I don't have a spare motherboard that's that type. But I also have, this was an um, a AMD, <laughs> this is pretty old, but it's still pretty decent. An AMD Phenom 2. Uh, which one is this? I thought I had the number on here that I could, I thought this was like the uh, 1150 or 1050. Anyway, you know, it's, it's eight core or six core, I forget, but, um, this is pretty stout. It doesn't have those Intel extensions though, because I had my, um, kid, I had put this in a system for my kid and it did everything they wanted except for there was this one game and i forget that you know it's just stuff moves on there was one set of extensions that were only in intel chips or or later amd chips and then i got the fx 4350 and it was actually ended up being a little slower than this on most other things it had those extensions though so then i got on higher end fx chip and they've been mostly happy for for a while but i'm thinking i've got a i've got a motherboard that works with this one right this this 43 I mean, with this Phenom, it's the AM3, I guess, the non plus. And the board's got 8 gigs of RAM. I think it'll take 16. And I was thinking about putting some Linux distro in OBS and just seeing how, because I mean, I'm sure this, this stream has probably gotten choppy. Now, some of the choppy for the face camera here tonight is because I'm, I'm using a, um, a, a Canon T5, but I'm not using a capture off the HDMI. I'm using, I was, I've been playing around with that webcam driver that they came out with kind of during covid i just wanted to see how it worked so i think even in perfect conditions with a beefy machine that's only usb2 and all the stuff's happening in the camera so i think it, it, it the frame rate is supposed to be 30 but it it drops quite a bit even if you know nothing to do with the pc but i was working with them or, or sent some samples to retro combs the, uh, last night or the other night and it, when i was first messing with this it was really bad but, and this may be bad, I don't know. I, it doesn't seem as bad as it was after doing some tweaks. This is really stripped down. These scenes are just like a video source and an audio source. So it seemed to be passable. Hopefully this was okay. So anyway, that's that's what's I kind of wanted to share tonight. The clear TV. Man, I could have sworn that thing had HDMI. That, that kind of sucks. Because I was wanting to, uh, if it had HDMI, I was thinking I've got the one... Uh, because I don't have a retro tank or anything like that. I've got the one C64G, which is PAL. And I've got a little thing over here, I think that does RCA to HDMI. And it would just, you know, and then if I had HDMI, I think the, the PAL problem goes away, right? I don't know. 
So I was hoping that would give me a way to look at that without a bunch of junk. So, oh well. We'll see. So I think that is about it. That all I wanted to show. I've got some some uh, stuff coming in to help me finish the my C16. And I, want, I think I talked about before. I want to maybe show and get the scope out and show how to identify potentially, potentially, potentially the uh, differences on how to see on a scope. Maybe the differences between a good and a bad chip for some of those failed um, C16 ones. Um, let's see here. I think that's about it. So if you've made it this far, I don't think I had any viewers, but if you're watching this later after it's up, thanks for watching. And I guess we'll see you next time. Throw anything in the comments below what you think about uh, building some, um, you know, eh, I guess it's not quite like a heating, like a space heater for the, um, the Phenom. I would probably not let that system run 24 seven. I would turn it on for a stream and turn it off. So it's not sitting there burning juice. Another thing I did kind of like were these, um, those Lenovo, um, you may have seen them, those little really small, I mean, HP makes them too, but they've got some I've seen on eBay that have later Core i5s that might be decent. The one thing that's, that's kind of good, I guess I could do about if I use a regular PC is I've got not new, but I've got some, a couple of older Nvidia cards and that could possibly, you know, that would fit in a normal PC, right? That I could build with this chip that um, I could use the uh, acceleration for the encoding in OBS. So that's one of the benefits, I guess, to using some of this junk I've got piled up here in the workshop, but this will definitely use more power. So I'd have to be mindful of turning it off and only having it juiced up when streaming. So I don't know. This Maybe I suck at this and uh, I should just stick to the other things that I probably also suck at. I don't know, but it's fun. This is more like a hobby for me than me trying to, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I'm just tinkering around and trying to share, especially when we're uh, closed in during these cold months on this side of the planet. I just, you know, I'll go stir crazy. So kind of like sharing and we'll see who's out there. Hopefully somebody enjoys this and, you know, gets something out of this. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'll probably cut this out when I edit the uh, recording later. But take care and uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.